Researchers have been delving into some of the latest iOS code, and they have discovered that Apple has been toying with a new experimental wire wireless networking protocol called Li-Fi. Father Robert, what can you tell us about Li-Fi and about these rumors? Li-Fi is not a lie. Li-Fi is not a lie. <laughs> okay. uh, it's not the cake. It's definitely a real thing. It, it's actually technology that has existed for years. We call it optical wireless communication. So in the past, we've, we've used it for high-end, uh, what we call network bridges. So when you need to get signal connection from one place to another, you can't trench, you can't string wire, you can't string fiber. You could use a, a laser bridge. And those lasers have typically operated in two bandwidth, two spectrums. Uh, 280, 200 to 280, which is UV, and then 750 to 1600 uh, nanometers, which would be near infrared. This new technology is a subset of that in that it uses visible light communication. So that's between 390 and 750 nanometers. Uh, now you may be asking, okay, what's what's all this techno mumbo jumbo? It's it's not a replacement for Wi-Fi, but it looks to be an incredible companion for Wi-Fi. It's a way to use visible light to be able to exchange data, uh, communicate incredibly rapidly, incredibly securely, with using much less power than Wi-Fi. So were they trying to keep this a secret? I mean, this seemed like they, these pictures came out. Were, were they trying, or just because it's not ready yet? Uh, it's not ready yet, and the reason why it's not ready yet is because there's still, it's the wild west of Li-Fi. Uh, the technology is there. The standards are being developed. The IEEE has gotten out with three different physical layers for Li-Fi for establishing a standard for how they communicate. The problem is you still have companies uh, that are like pure Li-Fi that are releasing a flavor of of the, of the standard, of the communication protocol. I, I, I compare it to, remember when Draft N came out? Uh, and no draft end communicated with any other draft end. We're kind of in that stage right now, which is why they're probably toying with it at Apple, but they're not ready to commit because you don't want to be stuck on the wrong side of a proprietary protocol. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, fair enough. Exactly. Um, line of sight is a key component of this. How I'm trying, I'm trying to like wrap my head around like an iPhone that has Li-Fi built into it that requires line of sight for some sort of communication right like, so that's one of the biggest things they say well it's it is line of sight yeah it won't go through walls but what it can do is it can bounce and also you can have Got it. you can have the system deployed everywhere uh it uses leds that flash so quickly that the human eye can't actually pick up the flashes even though it's on a visible even uh, if it's spectrum. on a visible spectrum mm -hmm. right so you could i mean Technically, you could replace all the light bulbs in your house with Li-Fi equipped huh. devices and you would have clear communications no matter where you are. As long as there's a light on, you'll have the ability to communicate. Um, also, because it's line of sight, a lot of people are looking at this as a, a improvement over the security of Wi-Fi. The problem with Wi-Fi, and this goes 20 years back, when you turn on an access point, you are broadcasting everywhere that signal will go. It goes through walls, it goes through bricks, it will go mm -hmm. through windows. With, with Li-Fi, if they don't see the light, they can't. There's just no way to do it. You, you can't pick up the signal. You can't inter intercept the network. Also, it, it will eventually, right, not right now, but eventually it will be cheaper than Wi-Fi and ridiculously faster. The problem we have with Wi-Fi is that you are limited to the 2.4 and the 5.8 gigahertz spectrum, and that's pretty much saturated. Mm -hmm. we've, we've, we've run everything we can in that. The visible spectrum used by, by Li-Fi is 10,000 times greater than the bandwidth available in all the RF energy. And of that RF energy, 2.4 and 5.8 are a tiny little piece. So you've got an in, in, a huge amount of, of data increase over what you would get off of standard Wi-Fi. So the, this says that uh, like uh, the same bulb that lights your hallway can act as a data access point. I mean, is right. that so that it's, so we're not dealing with like Wi-Fi routers anymore that wouldn't it would just be something else entirely well you'd want a companion piece so so I mean it's almost like you'd have to have something to kind of initiate right 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 I mean uh, this this is not and a bunch of components that that are that work as reflectors almost precisely precisely <laughs> uh, just like Wi-Fi didn't replace Ethernet yeah. Li-Fi is not gonna replace Wi-Fi right uh, you, you're gonna want a little bit of everything and you can have different types of of Li-Fi that operate differently. For example, optical wireless communication, you can use it between chips, you can use it uh, so on your person. So you could have it on your person so it communicates with all your devices. You could do medium range, which would be something like an apartment or in between cars. Then there's long range, which would be between buildings. And NASA even created an ultra long range one that they used to create a 622 megabit per second link between the Earth and the Moon. 
So the promise of the technology is there. We know it right. works. The question is, too, can you get a standard? Uh, and, and also, can you get it in enough devices that it makes sense to have a standard? Sure. And then could we potentially see, I don't know, iPhones talking to each other via Li-Fi? Uh, yes. <laughs> Passing data quickly between, like... Absolutely. <laughs> still uh, to... the, the power you need to communicate via a Li-Fi chipset is far less than the power you need to communicate via Wi-Fi. So this is okay. actually a more energy efficient standard. Right. And there is one major product out right now, which is out by Pure, Pure Li-Fi, uh, which was the company that demoed it back in 2014 at Mobile World Congress. Uh, Again, it's kind of a slightly proprietary blend of the technology. It maxes out at 11.4 megabytes per second, uh, which is nowhere near what it can do. It can do, I think it's 224 gigabits per second is what the tech is rated to do. Um, so Apple's playing with it. Uh, I, they probably shouldn't include it in a product at least for another year. Just yeah. wait, wait for it to get settled. Unless, unless Apple wants to say, hey, this is part of the home kit. We're going to make this, you know, mm -hmm. we're going to work this into all of the bulbs. This will be in all of our wireless repeaters. You're going to get Wi-Fi on it. That Wi actually makes a lot of sense right yeah. there. I mean, yeah. Apple could be a driving force because they do have enough devices. Just simply having a, a like a cutting edge technology like this so that two devices can pass files quickly between themselves seems like a kind of, <laughs> you know... I don't know, not necessarily a waste of the technology, but it doesn't seem like a good enough reason Probably not to well, entertain the standard. Do you think other mobile phone makers, do you think they're all experimenting with this and we just have heard about it from Apple first? Or? Uh, I, I think Apple's probably going to be in the forefront of this just because they have enough devices and enough of an ecosystem where it makes sense for them to do it. Um, Samsung wouldn't want to get into this unless they also had an agreement with a creator of home networking equipment, mm -hmm. because otherwise there's no guarantee that their equipment will work with the equipment from Netgear or the D-Link. They, you know, they've got smart things, so they'd, smart have, things, right? they'd have, they have some, right? some sort of uh, platform to yeah. kind of bolster that. Way. Whereas, I mean, imagine Apple, and, and it wouldn't be that expensive saying if you buy a HomePort Express, it now speaks Li-Fi, and if you buy the, the Philips bulb through the Apple Store, they now do Li-Fi uh, um, repeating off of the Wi-Fi system, and now your iPhone will get reception everywhere in your house. Uh, that's something Apple could do relatively easily, and I don't think any other manufacturers in the, 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 the position that they are. Yeah, that's really fascinating. Yeah.